Radar at stake. Quiet. Have you seen anything else? Not much going on. Madam. Uh. Wait right here that you are currently restricted to the Prikashka district. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have this. to me. 
Daniel Fletcher, you are a genius. Oh, hey, Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to. Check on my progress? Really, I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right, so 
Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this. It's a Stanic. A Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Mm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. any trouble. The clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place.
antibiotic resistant strain of tuberculosis that has been spreading quickly through the Indian subcontinent. World health officials are scrambling to contain the outbreak, even as work begins in San Francisco at pharmaceutical giant Versalife's cutting edge Rockasteca Beach facility to find a more aggressive cure. Sources inside the RD campus tell me, however, that this most Access granted.
Smiley, Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... she was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They Kept talking about the ascension, whatever that is. Your apartment was booby trapped by Radish Nicolazzi. What? Why would he? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well known, and respected. Reddish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison. So we strike a deal. 
deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have! Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. ex mil Terry, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him, see what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Wow, I hadn't realized that. I can't believe this. Stranded here in this neighborhood while my friends are off to some cool warehouse art gallery day. with a bunch of cute boys. Some friends, huh? Didn't even leave me with the key to the hostel. <sighs> Assholes. Sorry to bother. We've only been in town a few days, and if you don't mind, we'd like to ask you something. Interesting. Okay. Wow. You should have picked a bad time to visit. That's what has us worried. With everything that's been going on. I well, we wish I had a coat like that. Have you been here long? I just joined up last week. Yeah, I know. We don't discriminate. Take a seat if you like. Or stand. Whoa. Shiny. Anything goes here, baby. As long as you have the credit to back it up. I got something you want. Anything within reason, of course. You get too rough and the locals will gladly repay you in kind. Anything within reason, of course. You get too rough and the locals will gladly repay you in kind. Problems already.
great. I'm in Miller's apartment. The man keeps a tight ship. What do you expect? He's former SAS. Military life will make a neat freak out of anyone. If he's got secrets in there, Adam, they'll be well hidden. Everyone's gotta tell. I just need to know more about him to understand his. And it's a pleasure to speak with you too, Eliza. Listen, I know opponents are saying the Human Restoration Act is a step back. I think I got something, Alex. Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? Haven't checked it yet. But I'm starting to think the only way we'll learn more is by hearing all of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain.
temporary separation of the classes, so we can clear the air and reevaluate how we can coexist with the system.
Enemy presence detected. Engaging smart home system. Smart system engaged. Scanning bio data. Unauthorized presence confirmed. Hey, Adam. I'm still waiting in the small courtyard on Hovani Street. Where are you? Sorry, I got caught up in something. I'm on my way. Well, hurry up. Sir? Oh, bad enough when he was just drunk. something. When you were a little boy, did you make your mama wait for you a lot? Usually it was the other way around. Good, because if you were my boy, I'd have smacked you. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach Facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand versa life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Rucker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about VersaLife. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things, and somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. <laughs> nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is, hell even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. 
NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair for a while if anyone catches you. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine.
ability to find a more aggressive cure. Sources inside the R&D campus tell me, however, that this most recent strain mutates so quickly, new vaccines become obsolete before they can even reach infected areas. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different.
Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Bursa Life? Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be onto him. Then it's time for him to use the orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And call. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. I'll see what I can do. Later, man. Adam! What are you doing in here? My job. What about you? I... I'm sorry, but... I wasn't questioning you. It was meant to be jovial. I guess I need to work on my timing. Anyway, I'm leaving a message for the director, asking if he's heard from Vince Black, our organized crime division head. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only he never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... Fancy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Leon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black Psyche Val that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe... Undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take. I don't have a crystal ball. 
And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Mandeley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manuel are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me...
Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. When he got pinched, the task force made him a deal. Work for us? Adam, Janus heard the NSN conversation we recovered. He agrees you two should meet. Good. Just tell me where. There's an abandoned tourist information center in the central plaza. Make sure you're not followed. And I got something on Marchenko for you, too. Details are on a pocket secretary near the meetup point. Look for a trash bin with a chalk mark above it. You'll find it near the metro. Got it. Ne, díky. Takhle zoufalá snad nikdy nebyl. My God, the things I would do to her. You're so beautiful. Let me know if you see him, okay? His entire right arm was augmented, and his left hand. Over here! Come on! So, I write about this place a lot. What about Absolutely, the architecture in the old sector. Oh, Mind your own business. Absolutely, the architecture in the old sector was great. But this Give me an excuse, fucker. I dare you. Mother taught me never bad, to trust them all. Tour of the city. I'd love to see the way the two eras come together from up. Of. Then I was in Nepal. He slept on the roof one night. It was gorgeous. My favorite I wish I knew they let your kind in here. What about him? I wouldn't have given them my business. Money up front. We'll talk about it later. Not my type. You want to drink? See the bartender. You want anything else? You know what to do. I do not do those crazy things. I'm Catholic. My favorite color is black. Mind your own business. You? 
Mother taught me never to trust an orc. Give me an excuse, fucker. I dare you. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobromila. Placed you. No, you, you are too. I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. You really think you should be saying my name out loud in a place like this? So it is you. Discretion. Right. I'm sorry. But it was your bright idea to meet here, of all places. Not exactly the safest part of Prague to... <sighs> you didn't mention that you were augmented in your description. What difference does it make? None, I suppose. And I don't mean to stare. It's just... It doesn't fit with your reputation. My reputation, huh? Man's not always aware of what people say about him. What else have you heard? People are wary of you. They say that you are everyone's enemy. Everyone's friend. They... They also say you are one of the few who has the courage to expose the Diwali for what they really are. I can help with that. But first, I need to know I can trust you. What kind of trouble are you in, exactly? You know exactly what kind of trouble I'm in. My husband, Blesta, he... Operation you've been digging into it. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please. I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? What exactly are you hoping to get out of this? I want to know who I'm dealing with. Not here! What part of discretion do you not understand? I can protect you if it comes to that. I don't need you to protect me. Listen to me. I know what I'm doing. No place. There is courage and there is suicide. We shouldn't be talking like this here. All right, where do you suggest we talk? <laughs> oh, darling. You are so sweet to say such things to me. <laughs> I can walk you out of here. You'll be fine. No. I don't want them to see us together. Please. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks in Chikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I promise to give you whatever information you need. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. <laughs>